Let's meet the final contender, the Thrustmaster Boeing Yoke for 400 eddies and the Boeing TCA Quadrant for a whopping 170. However, you can have the combo for about 500 eddies, making it as expensive as the Honeycomb. I am not the biggest Thrustmaster fan, but let's give this a fair chance. The Yoke is by far the biggest of the bunch and it is pendulum style. However, I immediately noticed the big range of movement and the fact that I don't need to apply so much force. It has some buttons, which we will get into in a sec. A headphone jack, a phone slash pad holder, and two, I guess, throttle axes, which no simmer in their right mind would or should ever use. The quality, at least on the outside, is not really that great. The plastics feel pretty cheap and there's no thumb rest. Mounting it is simple, but it extends pretty far out of the desk. There isn't really that much to say about the throttle in this overview, so how about we get this mounted and then get flying? Okay, then let's get into the flying stuff, and um, we're here with the Thrustmaster Boeing yoke and with the Thrustmaster throttle. This is the way that I set it up. One lever for the throttle, one axis for the throttle, like I don't really care about controlling engine separately that's why i use it like that i care more about having flaps and speed brakes here this is really works really well and um, as you can see the fact that this is different heights here is why this works better than with the velocity one where all had the same height so if i move the throttle and have a flaps here then i do not touch the flaps because it's really cheap and um, this feels really cheap to be honest 470 eddies it's really cheap but i used this before and i actually quite like it it works really really well it feels really cheap it looks really cheap but it works really really well if you want to control engine access separately you have to um, buy a second one you can buy several and then connect them to each other so that they act like one this then allows you then you have six axes and then you have like up to four engine axes, one flap, one speed brake. So that's like you don't need more. The yoke. Yeah. First thing you notice is that it extends really far out of the desk. Um, that leads to a lot of issues now. The um, alpha honeycomb stuff was way closer to, I could sit closer to the desk. Uh, first of all, I am considerably further away from my screen now it's harder for me to see um i'm also further away from my pedals i move them back uh, it seems to work out pretty well also this extends into a pretty um dangerous um, area here so really be careful of getting up and sitting back down um that's not so good the other thing is that these things here are really thin like i like this better in the honeycomb and in the um, Velocity one, Turtle Beach, they were thicker and you had like rests for your thumbs. You don't hear, you end up with your thumbs here at these heads. So, yeah, no idea. The feel is really great. I have to say, it, it, this all feels a little bit plasticky, but the feel in a way of like how this is considerably lighter there's way less resistance and way more range of movement here in the compared to the honeycomb okay then let's um, get into the options um control c and c then uh, i again i already used this I, I hope it remembered how um i set this up set altitude bug power management throttle exactly okay this is yep Perfect. Nice. Spoiler access. Exactly. This is this one. Flaps access is this one. Perfect. This is all still the way I set it up. Okay. I already played around with the buttons because I wanted to know if the buttons work because they didn't in the honeycomb. But turns out they work here. A reset cockpit view. See the buttons work. Uh, other than that, I pretty much left it. I have an auto pilot disconnect. Throttle, toggle, auto, this is this one exactly. And the one on the right for the external view, this is how I set up my stick. Never mind, you can see um, this is the default one. I didn't touch that, so they, they by default they have a little bit of that zone in here. That's okay, I hope. Let's let's see how this works. And um, I noticed that this there's considerably more resistance the further you turn this. Like the last bit is really hard, which is okay for. Um, civil aviation because this is not an area where you want to be in the first place gear up gear down 
Okay, this is both at the same time. I cannot really imagine how this is supposed to work. But this is the default setting. The seating position is a little bit... That's okay, I'm actually looking straight on my screen, but it's way too small now. If I keep this, if I keep using this, I need a way, way bigger screen. Welcome to the 172. And um, yeah, we can, I just noticed we can do this. This is cool um, with the head here. And then centering the view works. Going outside works. And then we can do the same here. This is really nice. Don't really have to use the mouse anymore to um, look around. But anyway, um, let's see. Um, okay. I, um, yeah, flaps. Again, we have an access here. I have to say, I like the thing from the honeycomb where you had the like switch where you stepped through the different flaps position. I like this more because with that, I mean, it's here it's okay, but in the airline we're going to see you overshoot the position that you want to be in. It's not there, not really the tense here. So, good. Then let's see if we can maybe already dial in the altitude. Yes, you see that already works. That's cool. Let's go to like what was that? 2500 or something like that I think it was 1700 but um, we don't use the ILS here then you can go to heading and it works too look at that that's nice but it's very slow like the and I can barely see it from this position. I need a bigger screen. Damn. Okay, we've chosen 130. Okay, then we have that already. Cool, that works not as well as with the honeycomb, but okay. Um, yeah. Okay, then let's... Um, oh. Release the parking brake would probably be good. Alright. A little bit of rudder here. Yeah, that's the Sitex pedals are very sensitive. Oh, now I'm going this way. Okay. Wow. And off we go. Whoa, very sensitive in the rudder in the roll. Wow. Very sensitive. Okay, let's bring the flaps in. Then let's see how well we can control the pitch. Oh, that's really good. Don't sink, don't sink. This is very nice, the fact that you have this range for the pitch here. Wow, this is really nice. Also the fact that it is so... that you need so little force that you can do easily with one hand. Really cool. It's not very well trimmed at the moment, I think. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then. Um, okay, we have too much throttle now. And, uh, yeah, we can turn. Again, it's, it's really when it's... The f when, the, when the heavier resistance starts, it's really... When you get into the area where the roll is a little bit too aggressive. So that seems to be very well, but still it's a little bit too too sensitive for my taste. The roll, that was better than the honeycomb, but the pitch is really, really nice. That is, that is really, really nice. Okay, then let's see if we can turn on the autopilot. Um bringing us back to uh, here autopilot um, heading mode and I think we are far away enough now that's 10 miles about 10 miles to the airport I think that's okay we can 
turn around, go to heading mode and go to 320. It's really the slower you the slower you turn, the faster it works for some reason. Okay, then let's um turn the autopilot off and then um take manual control. I think the airport is over there somewhere. The seating position isn't the best, to be honest. And um, our trim is... Oh, now it seems to be okay. No still comes up. Still need a little bit of trim. No. Okay. Okay, then let's set flaps for landing. Then let's turn down the speed a little bit. Again, very nervous in the roll. Very, very nice in the pitch. It's really, really nice. Wow. Okay. Again, this it's not really optimal here the the grip but 500. yep happy lights look good but still this feels really really nice now I feel like I'm dropping too much should be okay though I'm too low Give it a little bit more power. Still weird using it with one hand. The stick is different, it feels different. But this is better with two hands. Feels really good. Wow. Where's the winch? I have no idea. Now I'm too high, okay. See Daisy. Bah. My rudder pedals reacting very harshly. Okay. Perfect landing. Not really, but okay. The feel is really great. Like I'm not really good in controlling this plane, but um, the feel is really great. Okay, then let's try the next one. Then, uh, yeah, welcome to the um, TBM 930. Uh, same position. And then um, let's see how this feels. Um, parking brake. Pretty sure this is on one of these buttons here. Ah, this one. Okay. Yep. To remember that. Can rotate nicely. Okay, can can we? Does this gear lever work here? No, seems like it. Ooh. Okay, 
Okay, nice. Good. Um, not full throttle. Okay, let's bring the flaps in. Okay, this is a little bit more. This doesn't. This is does. This is not as sensitive to the roll. This feels a lot better here. Wow, cool. This feels really nice. Pitch is also very nice. Control. We're we going to check that during landing. Uh, this thing picks speed up pretty, pretty fast. Okay, then let's give it to the autopilot for now. Flight director heading mode. And um, altitude hold, correct. I already dialed in the ILS frequency, so we don't have to look for it. Um, we wait our usual um, 20 miles or something and then turn around. And then we're going to see. Nice, really weird weather here today, this hazy stuff. Good, then let's, um, we are still in heading mode and let's uh, know this. We need to go this way, exactly. Can see the localizer, we are still, we are already um, on our way to aligning with it. Okay, then let's go course 315. Although we probably, now it's getting out again. Ah, damn. Should have gone the other way. Then we need to overshoot a bit. No problem. Let's go directly north. Okay, and I think we can go to nav mode now, because it should pick up the localizer then. Yes, that looks good. Okay, there's the glide slope and then we should theoretically be able to go to approach mode. We can go to flaps one. Let's see if it can capture the glide slope. Yeah, it looks good. Throttle back a bit. I'm not going to do it too fast. It looks good. If this thingy here works for gear down as well. Ooh, indeed. Okay, then um, let's go flaps full. Give it a little bit of thrust here, I think. Okay, I think this is okay. Then let's turn off the autopilot. Okay. Then let's take control. And let's reset the position here. Okay, more used to this one. Again, roll is a little bit more sensitive than in the, um, with the honeycomb. Also in this plane here, pitch is way, way better. I can't see peppy lights. It's really, the distance is problematic. I'm way, way too low can see that on the glide slope. Again, so far off the center line. I think it's the winds, but I mean, I'm really pointing towards the side now and I'm still not really okay let's take a little bit throttle away 
try to flare. Ooh, that felt very nice. I need to turn this clapping off. Uh, anyway, okay, throttle back. Then let's see, do the brakes work? Yes! Cool! Yeah, same observation. Roll is a little bit more sensitive, but I think it's not that bad, actually. Um, but the pitch is so much more controllable. This is really so much nicer. Um, yeah. Shapes up to be really, really good, but let's see how it handles um, the airliners. Okay then, welcome to the A319. Um, very weird to control an A3 Airbus with a Boeing yoke and a Boeing throttle, but um, yeah, should be okay. Um, release parking brake was this. Oh, this. This. Okay. Then let's um, stabilize. I can't really see a lot, but um, okay. Let's use Toga. Okay, rudder has almost no... Okay. Ooh. Okay, V1, and let's rotate. Wow, nice. Very nice. Okay, then let's gear up. flaps in as speed already let's try to put lever into climb position okay without d tens we don't really know but you can see nice range you have here um good then let's dial in our heading and let's turn on the autopilot let's dial in our heading of 130 Okay. Oh wow. This is really weird. That worked a lot better with the honeycomb thingy. about 20 miles out and let's turn around oh no that's the speed wait to go back to heading and then um again the slower you it's really weird okay never mind then let's go north directly Again, like we did last time. And then go down to 220 speed. Can turn a little bit tighter. Okay. Good. And there's a localizer. Let's grab that. him pretty fast yeah but let's see we should be able to get it and then we are getting closer to the airport good about 10 miles we seem to be on the localizer now there's the glider coming down then let's start configuring the aircraft okay Going to 175. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 170. Okay. And flips two. And then I um, think we can arm the approach, which for some reason already is. Okay. Don't remember putting that on, but um, fine. 
Okay. Good. Good. That looks good. Localizer grabbed. Glide slope grabbed. Then let's um, gear down. Nice. Then uh, what do we use with this thing? I think about 130 or something like that, right? Good. But the seating position is really bad. It's really bad. Like, uh, okay. Let's try it like that. I still can't really see how far are we. Uh, never mind. Let's go. Flips full. 1,000. 1,000 then. Let's... Um, Turn the autopilot off and then see. How we are doing. Stay surprisingly stable. I have to say. Winds up a little bit from this side. So yeah, I think I'm kind of. A bit off the glide slope there. Peppy lights look good. Now I have to correct. Okay, pitch is ooh, nice. Oh, the pitch is really nice. Four hundred. That's a little bit. Three hundred. I'm drifting off the center line so much 200. today. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm too high. Ah, this pitching down is still a little bit too sensitive. 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. I would know I over pitched a little bit. Try it. Okay. Could still be a little bit less sensitive, the pitch, but it's way better than in the honey camp. Way better. I need less force, and I let's stop here. I didn't put on the reversers or anything. Do I have reversers? No. Um, it's still way better than the honey camp, but it's, um, it's a little bit. Could be a little less sensitive, but okay. Um, I can still fiddle around with the. Um, with the curves, although I don't really like to do that because it's always a trade-off. Uh, let's stop here. And then um, let's go for the um, for the 787 before we go over to explain and have a look at the 737. Okay, then um, in the 787, now this is the plane that this was modeled after. Um, not the plane, but the yoke. So if you look at this yoke here, this is Apparently, this is what this is supposed to represent here. So, if there's any plane that should work perfectly on, then it's this one. Heading, let's dial this in before we um, before we take off. So that if you give it to the autopilot, okay. And the speed, let's choose our 250. Okay. Um, oh, altitude, correct. Let's 2700. Again, works works okay with the thing. If you say we don't, we always say we don't want to control a cockpit with a mouse. It works okay. Can you push it in? Never mind. Good. Parking brakes, flaps 15, which is good, because it's a pretty short runway, I think. 
Flaps is actually in, but okay. Yeah, there are no V-speeds here now. That's a bit problematic. Pretty stable. Should be okay to rotate now. Oh, it works very nicely. Okay, then gear up. Okay. Oh, wow. You have to give it a lot of input here to get it to rotate at all. Okay, let's bring the flaps in. Okay, wow. It should feel heavier, I guess. Okay, you have to give a lot of input, pitch and roll. But again, that's probably what it should feel like because it's a big plane. Um, okay, let's let's give it to the autopilot then. And um, here. Then let's see. Um... No. Okay, then, um, we are at the turnaround point, and let's, um, dial in. the new heading okay there's a localizer already coming in so we overshoot a bit or we can grab it let's try if we can shit where was that here okay we are already on the um, on the localizer then let's turn down a spot be to two twenty. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Two twenty. Good. Then let's see. Can we arm the speed brakes? Yes. Nice. And then we wait for the glide slope to come down. Then we are on our approach. Good. There's the glide slope. Then let's um, go flaps 1, flaps 5, flaps 10, no, 15. Okay, then we have to go down a little bit with the speed. And then let's um, arm the approach. Again, was a little bit nice on the honeycomb. You had the approach button here. Good, glide slope. Seems to be okay. Nice. Eight miles out. Then let's um, gear down. 2500. Let's... Go down with the speed. So what are we landing here? Usually, and also 130, I think. It was. Ooh, no, that's too slow. All right. Okay, then let's disconnect the autopilot now. All right, it's always maximum alert for not having the autopilot on. Looks okay, now we're getting below the glide slope. I'm again drifting off the center line. Wow. Plane really feels 
big and heavy. You have to give it a lot of input. The pitch is really nice, I have to say. So far, no matter what plane, the pitch control is really fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. What? Auto brake? Disconnected? No, what? Hä? Huh? No idea what you mean. No callouts? Yes. So far off the center line again. Good, let's disconnect the auto thrust. Why does this. Okay, this doesn't work. Never mind. Um, yeah, same observation even with this big plane here. The roll is really nice here because it's um, what well, it was a little bit too sensitive in the other planes. In this big plane here, it was just right. And the pitch is an absolute dream. Yeah, but now the hardcore test, now the most difficult one, the Zebo 737 in the X plane. All right, and here in the X plane, before we um, start the flight, it of course told us to calibrate new input device. So let's do that. Let's see. This is this one, this one. Roll. Yeah, that's correct. Maybe here somewhere. Okay. X is none. Um, okay, having this as a flap axis, okay. Uh, there's another axis, or maybe here. Yeah, view up, view down. Ah, okay, yeah. Next, leave everything in center. Okay, done, finish. Landing gear up, landing gear down. Okay, I, I again, I didn't do anything. It, it, this is the configuration by default. Seems to be pretty good. Okay, this one, um, but I've used this one before, so it should be, I hope it remembered that. Throttle one. No, this is wrong. Yeah, it is flaps, correct. And this is speed brakes. Oh, fine, cool. Okay, then here with the um, Zebo 737 next plane. And um, let's see how this works. Um, heading. Does not work, apparently speed. Okay. Um. Good. Altitude. Okay. Altitude works, even when it's not in altitude mode. Okay. Um, heading 130 is still in here, I guess. Okay. Park brake. Uh, flips. Okay. This is what I meant. I'd rather have the um, the steps. Okay. Good in this. I don't understand why these two engines have different throttle one this is not throttle one this is throttle throttle just throttle done yeah correct very nice okay then let's um try this Right, sorry. Baby parts. Uh, cross checked. Wow. I think we are somewhere around V1, so we can rotate. Wow, nice. Ooh, positive rate. Gear up. And. Okay. Ooh, wow. That is quick. 
Wow, this feels really nice, to be honest. The trim is rubbish, but... It, the, the control is really nice. Even the roll is really good. Bank angle. Bank angle. Yes! What does it say there? Altitude disagree. Okay. Uh, good, you disagree with the altitude. I don't mind. Okay, maybe you should turn on the auto thrust. Oh, needed a while to react. Um. Cool. Nice, and let's try to turn on the autopilot. And, um. Go to heading mode. Um, can go 250 and then down south. Nice. Wow, that looks good. And uh, you still hear a little bit flickery, but yeah. The water looks nice, and the uh, colors look more vibrant with the um, X Enviro. But, yeah. Ah, not really the best. Anyway, Ooh, nice aircraft carrier. Good, then about 20 miles out, and let's turn around. Okay, localizer's alive. It looks like the plane is trying to catch it. Okay, nine miles in. Okay, approach. Okay, then let's get down with the speed here. Capture the glide slope, capture the localizer, looks good. Uh. Okay, five. Then gear down. This is very weird here. Okay, never mind. will be out 140 I think okay then let's go to speed brake arm speed brake is arm okay yeah, I think we can land at 130 But we're not going full right in 737. We're landing with 30. Okay, 1000. Let's um, disconnect the autopilot. And then let's see. I go okay this is a yeah the road is more direct here than with the honeycomb this is quite normal pitch is way less sensitive which is very nice oh, to be un honest This feels very nice. Light I'm low. way too low. Light slow. I'm too low. It doesn't really look like it, but okay. 
Now pitching down is always a bit, but that's okay. Set. Minus sixty two. Minus sixty two. Minus sixty two in a Zebo in X plane. Wow. I am... I am speechless. I am without speech. I mean, it wasn't really the best approach. And again, this is the first time I'm using that. Minus 62. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. I, I have my verdict. I have my favorite um, flight control stick slash yoke, whatever. And all the stuff that I've used. Um, I know I always try to persuade you from all the Thrustmaster stuff and all the Logitech and SciTech and what all this stuff, but this is by far, by far the best that I've ever used. Again, it's not even close. I, I really didn't have the chance to try out the um, Turtle Beach, but from all the sticks, all the yokes, everything I ever used, this is by far the best. It's not even close. Um, the throttle I'm not really the biggest fan of, but again, you can combine this with any throttle that you like. So again, it does its job. Of course, the Honeycomb throttle is way 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 better and keep in mind this thing costs 170 eddies at least this is the um, msrp and the honeycomb bravo it is i think costs 250 and it's worth every penny of an upgrade but if you want to have this boeing feel all around then you can go with that oh i'm still connected here um again this it looks like the flexi it works it works better than it looks and i say this is amazing get this and i talk to you soon until then take care and um, choose them